Well, Malcolm, the season is upon us. Are you ready? Yeah, well, uh, we had a good blowout yesterday against uh, Wellington and um, blew some of the cobwebs away. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're in to go and um, hopefully when we knock it down to 17 players on the, on the day, that's going to give us a bit more cohesion, a bit more fluency in what we're trying to achieve. And, um, yeah, we're hungry, we're ready to go and um, we're trying to put the foundations in again for um, Super League status. We're hoping that, you know, we get the foundations right then um, we've got a solid product to build on. How's pre-season gone for you? Has it been tough? Mate, it's been tough, mate, but also it's been um, well balanced with um, Andy Egg. I think he's been doing a marvellous job for us and um, we've done a lot of strength strength and conditioning work. Along with that, we've done endurance work as well. So but I think we've got the right balance of, of all the uh, the elements that's needed and um, it's been tough, it's been enjoyable, mate, but it's gone, ex- gone extremely quick this year and um, I think that's because we've had um, a big influx of new players and um, new faces and it's taken a while to get to know everybody. So, you know, this play season's gone really quick. Are you happy with the players you've recruited? I think we've got some great players, and uh, and what, what I like about the club, and uh, you know, I've been here I think six years now, something like that, and and, and we, we're now starting to have a great youth policy. Um, you know, it started from when I first come in, and now we've got some of the best young players in the game, and uh, you know, with the uh, with the new uh, Super League uh, uh, franchise or, or um, what they're going to call a franchise, is that um, you know, homegrown players are going to be important. And we've got a lot of homegrown players now where uh, I think in the past Salford struggled in that area. But uh, we have got a good youth policy and we've got some really outstanding young players. Naturally, we're disappointed we're not part of Super League this year. But, uh, you know, the National League 1 is a good competition. We signed, uh, I think, brilliantly this uh, off-season. We've retained the senior players who've been with us for many years we wanted to keep. We've signed some good seasoned professionals and a really good blend of youth. So, you know, I can't wait to get going. I... Watched the game against Warrington yesterday, and you know I was quite pleased with how we performed yesterday. And I can't know wait to get to Rochdale on Sunday. Has the relegation from Super League affected anything in the stadium at all? I mean, you say on the majority it's not affected it in really any way, shape, or form. And indeed, how is it progressing with the stadium plan? I think that it's helped in a little way because it—I uh, wouldn't say it was a wake-up call, but um, we know the franchise bids have got to be in for March. Uh, we know decision is imminent round about June, July time and we tick a lot of the boxes. The thing we don't tick is our stadium is 107 years old and our crowd base is too low. Uh, and you know, our new stadium with the crowd base that we hope to achieve because of its position and its parking and, and everything that it brings, um, you know, it's made us realise now that the stadium has to come on board. We've got to be in that stadium for February 2010. It uh, made us, as a development company, to say, right, we've got to get on that ground. We've now met most of the conditions. We have people now working on the ground doing certain conditions. And within 28 days, you'll see it being boarded up and uh, earth being moved around and the bowl created, the roads, the impact to where the roads will go. And, of course, uh, you know, two years' build time. And so it's not, really, it's not really been a bad thing in that sense. I still rather be in the Super League, though. And ten years at the club for you, you'll be celebrating a, a testimonial soon. Can you believe how quickly it's gone by? No, not really, no, it's flown past. Um, I've enjoyed every single minute of it, you know, the good and the bad times. But, uh, no, I think it's just, um, it's a, obviously a good achievement for myself. But, um, no, like I said, I've loved every minute of it and hopefully I've got a few more years to go after this. What's been the highlight of your ten years so far? Um, I, to be honest... I don't know, I was really disappointed the first time we got relegated. Um, that was a, a proper bit of blow, but that season when we uh, like kind of rebuilt a new team, um, we went through the season, I think we were beaten once, and um, we got to all the Cups, won all the Cups, and obviously the promotion, that was, that was fantastic. And obviously the first season back in, um, really held our own. I think everyone wrote us off, we expected us to go back down again, but that was, uh, you know, we proved a lot of people wrong then. Is there any particular player that you've played with that would stand out from the rest that you have? Um, we've had some great players, you know. We've had some legends like Martin Afire and Michael Hancock and that. But I think the crop that we're playing with at the minute, the likes of Stuart Littler and Cal Fitzpatrick, Malcolm Elka, you know, these are people that I, I still, even though I'm playing with them at the minute, I look up to. And um, you know, like I said we've had some legends, but I think uh, you're talking about legends, the lads I've just mentioned as well. So, and uh, what are you predicting for Salford for the coming season? Uh, very fruitful, I think. I think we're we're going to do real well. We like I said before, we've got a real good squad together. And, you know, we're not underestimating any of the teams we play against because I think a lot of these teams are going to treat this as maybe their grand final. Um, you know, not 
blowing our own trumpets, but we've come down from Super League and we've kept nucleus of a Super League side. So it's you know teams that come up against us, this is like you know their grand final, so they're really going to step their game up. So we know we're in for a tough ride week in week out, but yeah, hopefully we can go through majority of the wins and uh, uh, you know hopefully get up back up into Super League and take that winning winning with us. Now the playing part's coming around. This is uh, you know it is, it is the uh, Northern Rail Cup. Uh, we want to be part of the, the, the latter stages of that. So to be a part of that, you've got to win the early rounds. Uh, but uh, by saying that, it's, you know, it's easy to say you want to win everything, but uh, you've also got uh, other clubs that uh, want to beat us, and Rochdale's going to be the first one. And I know that uh, they're going to be a very competitive team and uh, there's not going to be any pushover. And what are you predicting for for this season? Well, as I say, you know, we want to win as many games as we can. You know, you always, whenever you're involved in a team and a, uh, a club, you always think and hope you're going to win every game. That doesn't happen sometimes, sometimes it does. But I, I'd probably imagine that we'd probably win more games than we lose. Be all and end all is we want to win the league and we want to win the Northern Rail Cup. That's, that's what we want to achieve. Uh, whether we'll achieve that is, you know, is to be seen. But uh, basically, we've got, to, we've got to improve on certain things we, we were poor on last year and we spoke about those in house goals, which you know I'd rather keep keep in house. And you know, we, if we achieve those goals, then um, you know we're going to come through this season with um, a few ticks in the box.